podcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. show youtube videos sometimes we get pulled down so we thought we'd reenact it right are we can we do we a, have a raccoon in the house don't anyone please don't. there's um there's a stairwell wait a minute i'm gonna uh i'm just gonna show you what kevin did i have to i have to get up to this do is this is amazing i had is no my, idea this was happening <laughs> <laughs> is my dog at the at the bottom of the stairs all right okay so we're gonna we're gonna reenact <laughs> So He's Leo, Leo the has, has a live Leo has raccoon left down the there studio. to take on Leo. That would be amazing. He's going I down. I would love it if the raccoon came and did an interview with you, like all tense. And there is a Twitter account for the raccoon aggressive. now, apparently. Right. Okay. Of course there is. Oh, oh it looks like... Uh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> did you scream like a girl when you did I didn't it? scream like that, no. Okay. Well, there you go. That's the tech. That's the big tech story of the week. <laughs> All right, you we're know done. that he has a Twitter account. He does. He was tweeting at me, and I thought Freddie was... the raccoon. No, somebody. There's multiple Twitter accounts for. Oh, is it? That's Freddie. <laughs> oh, that's our raccoon. So now, yeah, but there's so another one. There's one. another raccoon. There's... Uh, that's raccoon tossed raccoon. Yeah, or something. tossed raccoon. <laughs> you mean there's more than one? Yeah, there's there's a few of them that that sprung up. Wow. So what is the what is it? Tossed raccoon? Is that the? Tossed that raccoon. account has been suspended. Uh, oh. oh, that's a shame. You didn't complain They, they about couldn't it. get the I check mark, I guess. You took no, it down? I'm just kidding. Why would I take it down? It's Why like, would you care? Yeah, I don't care. Why would you care? When the raccoons start to uh, make Kevin Rose t-shirts, kill Kevin Rose t-shirts, they're going to want to use stamps.com. Does this give you release does. when I'm, I do I'm, that? I'm, yeah. Yeah. Are you nervous? Does it make you nervous? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stamps.com means you can print your own legal U.S. postage from your computer, your printer. I don't know uh, where we found this or why we have it, <laughs> but I believe it's a <laughs> raccoon puppet. <laughs> and frankly, I missed a bet. I should have interviewed you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kevin, how do you really feel about raccoons? Uh, I'll tell you what. After the show, we'll give this to you, Toaster. Can yeah, right. To tear it up and freak out. He's him. got... With post the post-traumatic stress, yeah. exactly. He doesn't need to see that. <laughs> yeah, it'll just... Well, admit, no, but it's a way for him to kind of process it out. <laughs> yeah. I, I, what? Take another video with that and the dog. That's, <laughs> you can make another... Put some advertising on there. You can have Toaster throw this down the stairs. Yeah. Yeah. And raccoon. Raccoon chucker. Yeah, you get it all. Up. Coon chucker. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, I think we have a winner. Wow. I think we have a winner. Oh, yeah. They're, John, look they at our little ninjas. They're like little ninjas. Hey, now you're talking. And, and I have to say, if you, if you haven't That's seen that amazing. image, who did that? That's a good one, Chad. <coughs> who did that one? That is I'm awesome. actually not sure. I, it was uh, sent over. I, I, was, I wasn't paying attention, so uh, well, whoever, whoever sent did it that, over retroactively. If, you, if you're not watching the video, they, uh, they took the freeze frame of, of Kevin with the raccoon uh, puppet, and they put a little, little bandit mask on Kevin. And That's my Halloween outfit right that there. That is awesome. Done. Weird Ammy. Weird Ammy definitely. sent that over. Weird Am I, I yeah. believe, is his. Uh, thank you, Weird Am I. It's crazy. Perfect that, timing. Yeah, I know. Perfect timing. If you want to take the raccoon, whose is this? Patrick Delahanty's. Oh, so I can't give it to him? The toaster Most would not be happy if I brought that in the house. So I'm, yeah, I'm good. Probably not a good thing. I just find it interesting that Patrick has a raccoon puppet. <laughs> he emailed us right back. You never know. Yeah. Oh, no, I got people. one. Don't buy one. I got one. Nobody get oh. jealous. It's it's going to be a hundred uh, degrees, and Ooh. you know, and that's Celsius. I mean, it's supposed to be really hot in the summer. A lot of mosquitoes, oh, stuff wow. like that. Yeah. But uh, but you know, somebody's got to do it. Wait a minute, throw oh. camera. Throw cam. Hello, throw cam. Hello, throw cam. Whoa! Oh my word! Aren't you glad they fixed the throw cam? Yeah. Wow. What a view. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be jerky and not stop all the way in, but now. <laughs> now it goes all the way down. Wait a minute. Is that a raccoon? Not Kevin Rose isn't the only guy I could throw a raccoon. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Leo Laporte here. Joining me, Ayaz Akhtar. 
uh, Tom Merritt and Sarah Lane. It's the entire TNT team. We were here anyway. So. Yep. They were they were coming in anyway, so they said, "What the heck?" Why not? Actually, Tom's in studio with yeah, me. Yeah, thanks which for bringing me up here. This Thank you for being here because this coincides uh, with our uh, second anniversary uh, open house. In fact, occasionally you may hear a <laughs> they're putting a sign up. I brought the jackhammer from my <laughs> L.A. studio. We've only been here two years, and we finally get a sign that says Twit on the front door. We are hopefully your source for the latest news, hardware, and apps for the Android faithful. My name is Jason Howell. And I'm Gina Trapani. <laughs> it's good to be back. We had a last-minute uh, kind of email sent out this morning from Ron uh, saying, I'm sorry, the real you know day job beckons, and uh, I can't join you. But that's okay, because Miriam... You have come to save the day. I don't know. Well, yeah. Is that what I'm totally doing? Well, saving we, the day? Yeah, well, kind of. I mean, we already had you booked, so you were already <laughs> going to save the day. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> well, thanks for having me. This yes. is great. It is awesome having you here. Uh, senior mobile editor at Engadget. Also co-host of the Engadget mobile podcast. Correct. Yeah, so you have a lot to say uh, about Android. I have uh, a lot to bitch about. Yeah, <laughs> yeah excellent. That's what this she show needs. <laughs> yeah. More, more bitching. Uh, that's that should be our tagline. We we bring bitchin' to Android. It's God on beautiful people. It is time for NSFW, the new show full of wind, the new sauce for the web internet, the show that's nominally safe for work. Howdy, beautiful people. My name is Brian Grosswood. Joined as always by my right brain, because I'm all left brain. He's always right. His name is Justin Robert Rubles the third. What is going on? Professor JR Live. What's going on, man? Ah, oh, yes, Puppet Brian. Thank you for beginning the show. This is uh, actually one of the weirdest experiences that uh, I've ever had. Brian is in L.A. He's super busy. This is going to be the first episode that we've ever done uh, without Brian on it, which is extraordinarily odd. But luckily, we've got uh, a bunch of people to, to fill out the show here. Uh, of course, our old friend, a tale as old as time, BB Live Show OG, Brett the Amtrek around Seville is here to join us. Yay. Chibert, we have been working on rapid deployment networks for uh, the better part of our lives. Uh, and, and, you know, it, it really is a subset. I, I, I never used to think so until I actually started doing interrupt. And I realized, yeah, you know, there, there are certain things that are different about putting a network up that you know that's going to just exist for a few days. So uh, let me ask you, what is your secret sauce? been over the years i mean because you've done way more interrupts than i have as, as you've seen these network goes up go up what are the things that you change between the way that you deploy an rdn and the way that you deploy say your campus network uh yeah chibert uh, same question to you that i gave to uh, uh to glenn during the interview and that is We've seen a subset of RDN, the event networks, really change over the last couple of years. I, I remember when we would roll into Interop with you know, literally 20 different knock pads, knock racks that we, we would need for all the services, all the different servers that we ran. And s slowly that started to shrink as we went into virtualized servers and as we started to move things into the cloud. This this is a trend that we're going to continue to see in, in those types of networks, right? You just get me a connection to the outside world, I'll give you a couple of switches, and we're ready to go. Yes and no. So, um, so you know, we put the TriCaster in. It's pretty cool, right? Um, oh, I guess we're back. So, Russell, I, I should hang up on you because we're done having our business uh, discussion over the Xbox. Uh, Xbox, hang up. Xbox, hang up. <sighs> there, okay. It worked, okay. Uh, Xbox, call Radford Castro. Call Radford Castro. Uh, maybe the maybe the uh, the PBS Xbox. is too much. Xbox, call, call Radford, Radford Castro. Castro. Nick. Outside of all the parts that didn't go perfectly, everything went perfectly. Uh, as is the huge. I'll tell you what, you're not gonna get an episode of NSFW without a little bit of rat feces. Do me a favor. Uh, <laughs> tinyurl.com slash Katie Beer, K A T I E B E E R. You can vote every single day for her to get into the Sierra Nevada Beer Camp. Please make that happen. That is tinyurl.com slash Katie Beer. Dude, we love you guys. Do us a favor, all of you. Die in a fire. See you next Tuesday. Doggy style prayer, Brian. Donkey style prayer. God it's, loves it's, it uh, when he sees the back of your head. Approved. <laughs> oh, NSA. Good fact.
fact. It's an ecclesiastical fact. I love you. I'm in your content. It's in Leviticus. Incoming message. I don't know how wacky this is, but it's another one from Rich and Lovely Cleveland. It says, Tom and Posse, I think the Twitter redesign to put DMs front and center is all part of their effect to make the service easier to get into for new users. While Twitter is still growing users at a good pace, the barrier to entry is still steep. Forget about Twitter etiquette. Twitter wants to let people know about its basic functionality. I think Sarah and I were spot on when they said it's all about getting people into the mobile app and keeping them there as long as possible. It's the same reason they've made their camera functionality more full-featured with filters, editing, etc. The refocus on DMs might also help out brand pages. For some reason, that baffles me. People like to follow their favorite brands on Twitter. I could see brands incentivizing people to follow their accounts with the promise of DM links to deals and the like, and Twitter could charge for this privilege. Not a thought I necessarily enjoy for the platform, but going public has put generating revenue front and center for the company. Uh, here's the thing. Before, I was about to buy it outright and give you full creative control. Since the intervening minute and a half has taken place... <laughs> I've completely cooled. In fact, I don't even want to look at you unless you can tell me right now where an animated squirrel works itself in. Oh, that's perfect. In the fight of the dragon veins, you've got you've got another uh, good Oscar-winning quality part of an old prospector make the squirrel or that, sidekick. Scratch right, look, that. Look, I'll tell you what. Squirrels are out. Raccoons are in. Uh, I actually have a raccoon right here. I need you to just voice for me uh, uh, what it would be saying. By the way, look, Tom, I'm sorry. This is how Justin gets sometimes. I've worked with him for 20 years. Sometimes no, 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 he just gets it in fine, his head. I just fine. need you to roll with this. I, look, sure, I'm sure, on sure. your That's side. Totally fine. I want this to work. Do me a favor. While you do dialogue for the raccoon, if you could sort of tie in like recovering addict of some variety, maybe a hint of uh, of, of 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 like a painful loss in his past. Yeah, not not a problem. I know exactly what we're going for here. Okay, this is this is a line that Len gives. I think Len could easily become a CG recovering addict squirrel. Okay, or and go. <coughs> I just found out myself this morning. Not buying. Subcontracted, just like your straight arrow Avacor. Guess it's the wave of the future. You got 20 bucks. I need a hit. All right, look, that's great. You killed it. Everyone loves it. They're already talking about it outside. You can hear the celebrations already started. Welcome to Tech News Today. I'm Tom Merritt. I'm Sarah Lane. I'm Aya Zachter. And I'm Jason Howell. And this is the show that helps keep you up to date on the most important stories in the tech world and put them in some context for you, starting with the top 10 stories of the day in the news views. And there you go. That's the um, two-tone oscillator kit there. You can see now I'm back at the Twitch studios, Don. So uh, <laughs> good Apparently so here. am I. Yeah. <laughs> and we, uh, we might as well uh, have Solder Claws give away a prize here. You know, last week I asked the question, why use uh, two oddball frequencies like 700 hertz and 1900 hertz? And um, I had an answer on that. It came from John, KD4UBM, and he said that a two-tone generator creates two non-harmonic tones, and that's used for testing intermodulation distortion. Uh, he said the oscillator I was building, uh, the tones can be used for single sideband transmitter output, uh, to feed into an oscilloscope, and then you can see uh, that if there's any other tones in there besides just the two you put in, then you know you got some intermodulation distortion. And he said he's been hibernating from ham radio for the past 20 years, and his wife and kids recently got interested in ham radio. They all took their class together, and they earned the technician license, and he upgraded to extra. And he says it's great to be back in the hobby again. So congratulations, John. You're going to win this copy of Antennas and Transmission Lines, which is keyed out because it's green. Here, I'll show you the back of it. So uh, congratulations. We'll be sending that out to you. And uh, Solder Claus appreciates everyone who played this week. And we'll be back a little bit later in the show. But right now, let's go back to Don. And um, Don, I've got a transparent book here. I, I don't know that this has ever been done before. 